Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you are on this mystifying planet, we humans call Earth. I hope you're having a tranquil day, evening, night, wherever you happen to be located. Welcome to my channel on 3D Topics. In this case, I'm using the world renowned Blender. I know Blender version, current version is 3.0.0. But I had to use version, a prior version of Blender. In this case, I'm using version 2.82. The reason is because while I'm going to show you, show you the beauty, the simplistic beauty of using those uh, texture nodes or shader nodes or PBR, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to show you why it's beautiful. But before I do that, I gotta show you things that we probably learned first. Because you know, if you was using Blender or any other 3D software package first, at first we deal with modeling. Then after you deal with modeling and Blender, specifically Blender, you started, you probably get, got into vertex paint, the color of your model, and texture paint. So, and then last, on the upper echelon of the 3D world, is manipulating those nodes. That's the epitome of 3d art can you successfully manipulate those pbr nodes or those nodes to produce a pbr mso i'm using an older version of blender in my case a few days ago my wife and i was shopping our local uh you know local grocery store then i look i noticed something in the front in the, in the children's section where they had those those colorful balls you got them colorful balls when you go into a shopping center Especially when it's large, you see them colorful bars for kids. I was like, oh, I can make that in Blender. And I already have made it in Blender using shaders. And it was so simple. But before I get to the shader part, I want to show you the traditional way of doing it. So, the bars I've made, I've seen in Blender. So, I can give it a lift now. Delete that. Okay, good. So, now, my sample. If I'm going to show you a ball, I have to make a sphere shape. So, here's my my mesh, the cube, Harold the cube. I'm going to go to add a modifier. I'm going to choose subdivision surface. I'll crank the report up to about two. That's good. I right click, choose smooth shading. So now we should be good to go. I hope I don't have no error with no errors because when I was using 3.0, the vertex paint didn't work well. So I'm letting you know now if we have blended 3.0. 0, 0.0 it may not be working efficiently now i did some research on a vertex paint on pro i saw it on youtube oh i'm sorry i'm sorry on the internet people was having trouble with the vertex paint so i hope they clear up the area up soon but it should work on this older version because i tried it earlier vertex paint the easiest way to manipulate it you see you have the standard two ball draw color mix etc the standard way of getting that thing is that route right mouse button click choose your color then you can choose your radius size and you can even choose your mix mode i'm just gonna leave it on regular mix all right let me choose another color see it seems like it's acting up on this version too so i, I guess oh i may have to uh apply my Modify. I have to go back into edit object mode. Let me apply my modifier. Now let's try to go back into vertex paint. <sighs> Lord, it's still not working. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. All right, I must I must take it from the beginning there people hold on I don't I don't want to stop the video let's take it from the beginning take it from the beginning click on this add modifier subdivision surface crank it up to about two now I'm gonna apply it click on shade smooth let's go back and try it now vertex paint choose a color now, okay, it's working. Thank you, it's working. So, 
can't knock Blender because it's open source. So it may not be working perfectly all the time. So I chose that color. Let me choose red. I'll make my radius larger. Just for this side right here. I'll work on this whole on one side. Top to bottom. Make it red. Okay. Let me rotate it again. Right click. I'll choose green. I'll make one. I'll make one side. One half green. Well, it's not one half. Choose yellow. I'll reduce my radius. Come up to the side. Make it yellow. I'll move it around again. Okay. And I'll make it cyan. And as you and as as we as we as we discover, it's called vertex paint. Paint is a verb. You gotta do something. So I had to do something. When we get to the uh when we get to the um the node, I won't have to do much. The node will take care of all the paint and stuff. Okay, so that looked like a nice little kitty little ball. But it's gonna be better. And I know, see, I can't make those uh certain lines easily. I like it's best as to color in like large sections of it. Okay, so we deal with the um vertex paint. Let me go up here and check for texture paint, because I want to check texture. Okay, so now it's something wrong. Texture paint is more involved. More involved. We need to use the UV. So go to UV. I'm going to unwrap it. I'm going to choose Smart Unwrap. There we go. Smart Unwrap. Then I go pick, I'm going to click on New. I'm going to call it Ball UV. And what I like to do where it says Generate Type, Blank is going to be black. I don't like that. I like to have some control. I like to say, hey, is, is it really working? So I'm going to click on UV. Call it Ball UV. Okay. Okay. So that's it. We got to, we got to set up with our makeshift background so now we click back on texture we got a texture i'm gonna click on my base color the little option the little dot right there I'm, you remember, I'm using the older version of uh blender so you know it's gonna be slightly different in 3.0 or 2.9 this is 2.82 i want to choose image texture right now i want to choose there's my ball uv it's not showing up for me because I don't have it in uh, the shader, right shader mode. Let's go up here to the top. Let's look for our shader. We want to choose the, the center one, the little pizza, report shading. Okay, now it's working. Now from here, I should be able to go right into uh, texture paint mode. Okay, we got it set up. It's white. Okay, so it's working. It's painting it white. Now, texture paint is sort of like... Now, if you don't know about the vertex paint, the vertex paint is really painting on vertexes. The texture paint is more powerful because it's painting exactly on the uh, figure. Let me switch back to uh, layout. Let me switch back to uh, texture, texture vertex paint. It looks smooth because I have a lot of vertices here. That's why it looks smooth. I have plenty of vertices, so it's going to be smooth. But, but if I didn't have a lot of vertices, you was, it would look sort of uh, rectangular shaped. But it's, I got a lot of vertices, so it came out smooth. Go to edit mode to show you the vertices. See? Plenty of vertices here. So it'll come out smooth. So with vertex paint, the more vertices you have, the better. Okay. I can jump to texture paint right here, so... Let me change it to another color. Oh, I have it on green. I'll color all this green. So you see how smooth it looks. Texture paint is smooth. Color this side green. I'll color it over here, cyan. But now you see it's coloring right on the other one. See the nodes not going to interfere with the other colors in any way. I'm going to color this side uh, reddish. I'm a, oh, I, I can... And, and oh, right click work on both of them, so you can right click in both vertex paint and texture paint. I'm gonna increase my vertex size. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reduce my strength. Let me see how I look. 
Okay, you see, it's a little bit more transparent. A little bit more transparent. And the more you draw on it, the darker it gets. See, I'm dark. I'm gonna keep drawing on it. It's gonna get darker. You see, it's getting darker and darker. Darker. I mean, I'm still just I'm retracing my steps. Or retracing my drawings. Okay, and this side, I wanna choose right click. That's even better. But I choose, I'm gonna choose a bluish color. Right click. I'll make my brush small. I'll take my strength up. And we just click on here. See, remember, it looks light because I'm only clicking on it one time. I'm just coloring it over one time. If I click, if I keep my mouse on it, you see it, it gets, every click make it get darker. Click, click, you, you probably hear my clicks. You hear my mouth click? This last side, right click, I choose yellow. Let's render it and see how it look. Okay, so the render still showed uh, the texture paint. That, you, know, you know, like the texture map that I did earlier. Okay. So it looked like a, a nice little colorful kitty ball. I should increase the strength of my uh, yellow. If you want to make a ball, you, you know, the colors really look solid. So I'm going to make it solid. Around. Get all of this. Now, but you see, when I did vertex paint and texture paint, it's difficult. I can do it. I can do it. I'm, I'm gonna make this. I gotta make my radius real small. I can put a. I can make weird shapes like red lines on there. Go around, make my lines. But that can become tedious after a while when you keep making different lines on there like that. I'm making another one, one green. Imagine. With the, well, I'm going to show you. And it don't look like in a store. It looked like somebody painted. Like what I'm doing. It looked like it was painted by hand. It like a human. Like you know, you know what I'm saying. It don't look like it came from a store. Like, like, I, like I just painted it myself. Now. So I showed you vertex paint. Texture paint. Now let's go into the nodes. So now I'm going to click on shading. I'm in the nodes. I want to set it up the way I like to set it up. I don't like this view. I like to have my nodes up here. There's, oops. I just make this, I just, I just drag it over here. Yeah. I have an idea. Click on this. Join up here. Now I can I probably can join it now. Join this right there. Okay. So I like to have as much real estate or much area as I can to work with my uh, my nodes. I'm gonna change this to uh for the report. I wanna come over. Click on this tab right here, shading. Uh oh. This is, this is right. It looks different. On, okay, I'm sorry. I'm using an older. See, I'm using an older version. I don't know if I can uh, get it the way I want to. I'm choosing the because the other one is a lot more easier. Oh brother! I'm I'm gonna click right here. Oh, now I had to click on the um the shade, the middle shading button. Now. Let me see what happened. I'm gonna choose my background. Okay, it's coming. Is it? Uh. Uh. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. I wanna get the uh the HDRI on here. And this is an older version.
I'm going to choose this. See, it's not showing it. Scene world. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's take it as it is. Ah, oh, man. So I still got those colors on there. This is new to me, so I'm missing them colors being gone. Oh. Is this the one I want? Hit T. Let me go back out to layout. Go back to object. And my bar is highlighted. Now I can go back to shading. My bar is highlighted. Oh, bar UV. I'm going to take off the UV. Okay, it's, it's gone. So, no texture on there. So, now we're going to be starting with add. I can get rid of this. I'm going to add uh, input texture coordinate. You know, that's important with dealing with those textures, the texture coordinate. I can drag these two over some because I don't need, I can drag them out the way. I really don't need them. I just need the inputs right there. Now, I just want to hook it up to object for now. It don't matter which one, but I just do object. Okay. So it's already it's producing something. Something is producing. If I go to the uh, render, see already, I didn't have to paint that in. You got something right there. But I'm going to add my own stuff to it. Right there. I didn't have to paint one. I said that took seconds. That took seconds. So we see now the beauty of the nodes is far faster than me using that vertex paint. And far faster than using texture paint already within seconds it gave color but I want to put my own little my own little two cents on here I want to add a node add a node I want to add a texture I add my favorite mm, I just call it I'm gonna try noise wait well, well, I don't want to try noise I want to try musgrave that's the easiest one to try hook it up Right there. Node add texture. Uh, Musgrave at the bottom. Drop it right in. All right, we see something happening already. With the Musgrave, already something happening. But it's black and white because you see right here the um the the output socket is gray. So the gray alpha sock is only going to put things in black and white and grays. That's why I like that. I'm going to add a, a color ramp later to add some more pizzazz to it. And better yet, oh, oh, I got to study no. I'm going I'm to delete this for now. I'll bring it back. Add texture, musgrave. Cause I want to add. I want to put at least two textures on there. Musgrave. I want to add one more. Add texture. My favorite one. Vivano. Right there. Object to object. Color. Go right into color. Now this will be colored, I believe. See right there. Look, look at that ball. A colorful ball. I just added Verono texture, and it would have taken me a thousand years to make it look like this. Rectangulars, colors go all, all the way around. See, I said, that's the beauty of the nose, people. If you want to make stuff, things like balls, things with many colors on it, you can use the nodes it's fast. So don't be afraid of the nodes. They got their benefits. They have their benefits. But... I don't want to use that one. I want to use, I want to try to keep it black and white for now. Texture. I use ma and ma that's how magic look. Then after that, vector. But magic use a color too. Let's see if it's a I want something to keep it. I want to try to keep it black and white. Okay, that's magic. That's but, but again, that's another ball. 
It would have taken me a long time to make a ball like this with all them little uh, blue dots on it. I'm, I'm so, you see the beauty of it. The beauty of using the nodes to make the ball. And if I put it back on a uh, render view, that's what you get if you render it. It would work fast to make simple, colorful shapes like a ball, a child's ball. But you see it's taking seconds, not minutes, less than five seconds. But I want to get something else. Because I want to use the uh, I want to use the color ramp. I don't want to, I don't want to use a rhyme and check. I don't want to use that. Uh, what about uh, did I choose Musgrave? I do wave. A well, wave got a color component too, but okay, I, I just probably stick with that. I just combine them. Okay, that's that's what I wanted. That looked good. See, look at that. A black and white ball, but I'm going to add color to it. So now, I can have my, my object go into both of them. I want to add in a, <coughs> a mixed color noise. So I'm going to go to color. Choose mix RGB. Connect this one. And I'm not using no long-winded nodes. Just simple nodes. I just want to see how it looks. Then I'm going to add my color ramp in. It probably still look black and white. Probably. See? And then up here you can just choose how you want it to be right here. See? Look, look at that. Look at that. Now, I'm going to add in the color ramp. Let me add my color ramp in. Put a color ramp in here. Add converter. Color ramp. Where is it? Right there. I want to add in four of them. One more. Uh oh. Oh, that's too many. Can I delete it? Delete. Oops. Where I delete it? Oh, I bring in another color ramp. Add converter. Color ramp. Add it right here. Connect it. And connect it there. Okay, so we see that. Look how beautiful that look. It, I would not have been able to make no ball like this. I was able to make the simple shapes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go right here. Distribute stops evenly. Now I'm going to add my own colors to it. Click right here. Bring it up. I'm going to choose green. Click on this next stop. Choose my color. I'll make it a little bit lighter. I want to choose blue. And we see how it looks. It's just taking seconds. I want to use a reddish color. Look at that. Ball. And you know stores have balls that look like this. My last color white. This is my next color. I did choose green. What about this color? I didn't choose yellow. But I don't see the yellow. Okay. Oh, I do got... Oops. Wrong one. I put this back on red. A reddish color. Click this stop. Now I make this stop the yellowest color. Right there. Now here's... The, now, so we got a functional ball right here. Within seconds. But I would not... Be, I would not... The thing I'm going to show you now is what I would not have been able to do if I use Vertex Paint texture paint because I was doing it by hand when you mess up with the scale you see what happened it's changing it you see that it's warping it it was warping I would not have been able to do that let's greet look at that look at that wow and I'm just working on the wave node see look at that look at what I can do this is what you can do with the color note what these are the nodes. So don't be afraid. And balls do look like this ball right here. It will, I will not have been able to do this in a in seconds. Remember, the nodes are able to do it in seconds. It would have taken me minutes to do this effect right here. So let me put it back on zero. That's where I had it. Now I'm going to go ahead to the Musgrave. Let's see what the Musgrave do. Let me put it down. Oh, I got to wait for my computer. Okay. I'm going to put it on Musgrave. Making a simple ball. Okay, there's the Musgrave effect. See? 
it's doing it it's changing it quickly within seconds detail okay look at that you, you've, we've seen balls like this all everything seemed completely parallel I did it again to warp it that's the max warping look at that all making a simple ball this looks interesting and the charity okay that oh wow see look at that now I could have did this by hand yes I could have did this by hand but it would have been hard to make them zigzag you see them lightning bolt lines that would not have been easy it was taking time to make that zip lightning bolt line. So I, got, I hope everyone you get to see the beauty of being nodes. So don't be afraid of nodes. Now this is my official third month working with nodes. Like I said, when I walked to the store, I said, I can make that bar with nodes. And I had it looking completely different on my first try. But you get the point. You get the point. No. And then if I want to turn off one of these, I hit M. Wait a couple seconds. Let's see what happened. And there we go. See? I want to hit M again. It might put it back to its default color that it was before. Now it's just purple because it don't have no texture to it. I hit M up here. It put it back. That's on wave texture. That's how it is in the wave texture. See? Everything is happening within seconds. Seconds. So I hope you get to see, my good people, the beauty of using the texture nodes. You get to design it any way you want. Now, this I would not have. And balls do look like this in the store. I would not have been able to make a ball like this by hand. I could, but it would have taken a long time. Because the lines are parallel. I would have been zigzagging with my hand. And I'm in render mode. So if I wanted to print this out, make it to an animation, it would look just like this. So... Thank you for stopping by to seeing the beauty of using nodes. You don't got to make nothing hard like me. Just experiment with them. Then eventually, in a year or so, you will be at a professional level. See, a couple months ago, like I said, when I started with Blender 2.76, I, I, I didn't know what, how to use the nodes. Now, I'm starting to love them more and more. So I hope you can start to love your nodes more and more and start seeing the power of those nodes. Keep striving. Never stop. Push forward. Learn. Until the next time, Blender family, peace.